Hello, fellow humans. Welcome back to Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. Last we left off, Rosa here was uh, recruited by her overbearing boss, Bob, to be an investigative journalist for the day. We've already talked to the RA about Joanne, a girl who recently committed suicide, and incidentally, the person we are here to investigate. This is the RA's door, and this door just says door, so we can safely assume that nobody lives here. Let's investigate further down the hall here. This is also a door. And this is Joanne and Kelly's door, so let's let's talk to the person in here. Kelly, I presume. Yeah. Okay, and here we have Kelly. She's got a little bit of midriff showing and some bracelets on, skull on her shirt, plaid, I believe pajama pants and flip flops. She's got colored hair and purple mascara, and some piercings. She seems to be quite the character. I really like the plaid, though. And the little midriff is always nice, especially in pixel art. Pixel art mid midriff is the best kind. Let's get right to the point. Can I talk to you for a few minutes? And who the hell are you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. With the village I? <laughs> the village what? The Village Eye. The newspaper. I've never heard of it. Let's shrug it off. It's just a small paper. Yeah, I guess that. What do you want? I'd like to talk to you about your roommate, if that's alright. Jesus Christ. I'm busy with midterms. I told the campus police everything. Do you have to bother me? Look, so she killed herself. Big whoop. Why is that my problem? Well, it's your problem because you live with her. Unfortunately. For you. Because, you know, you're the really unfortunate one here in this situation, Kelly. Uh, let's try and show understanding. I understand that this must be a difficult time for you. Difficult? Hell no. It's been great. You know how long I've been wanting my own room? Show distaste. That's pretty harsh. Yeah? So what? You have a problem with that? We're gonna remain steadfast. Will you please calm down? Calm down? Who the hell do you think you are? Appeal to her better nature. Look, my boss will kill me if I come back with nothing. Can't you help me out here? Fine. You want to know about Joanne? She's dead. She couldn't take the pressure, so she jumped off the roof. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Nope. Same old Joanne. Studied at our desk all day and slept all night, as usual. Quiet as a little mouse. Okay, so it seems like Joanne was a studious type. Let's ask about Joanne here. Is there anything else you can tell me about Joanne? No. Okay, so there's nothing else you can tell us. Let's ask about Joanne's suicide. Do you have any thoughts on why Joanne would kill herself? Nope. Just another kid who couldn't hack it. A uh, photograph? Do you have a photograph of Joanne that we could use for the newspaper? You want a what? Just a photograph. You'll get it right back. Yeah, right. You think I'm giving you anything? Think again. But it's not even your stuff. Can you tell me anything about Adrian? The RA? He's okay. He helps us out when we need it and keeps out of our way when we don't. It's the way it should be. Kelly seems to be a very private person. We'll ask her about herself, but I don't think she's going to be very forthcoming. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Why do you want to know? Just background info for the paper? I don't think so. Suit yourself. And she has suited herself. Well, we've got information about Joanne sleeping all night, so I guess we'll ask about that, though it doesn't seem too important. Joanne never had trouble sleeping? How would I know? You lived with her, like I pay attention. Uh, Joanne studied all day? So Joanne was a good student. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like she's willing to talk. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Here we've got some information about client combining clues. By now, Rosa has a number of clues in her notebook. Rosa can, com can combine clues together and attempt to find a connection between them. To combine notes, left-click on one clue, and then left-click on a second. Whew. Stuttered a lot there. I even stuttered when I said stuttered. This is getting impressive, folks. Let's go ask the RA about some things before we try connecting anything.
Hmm? Hi. It's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Whoa! Yeah. Is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want that to That is know? a whole bunch of contempt right there. Let's ask him about our new dialogue options. Joanne slept all night. Do you know if Joanne had trouble sleeping? I'm afraid I wouldn't. Her roommate, Kelly, never complained, but that's not surprising. Why is that? Well, Kelly rarely spent the night in her room. She only comes here to study, as far as I've seen. So, Kelly sleeps elsewhere? Do you know where Kelly was sleeping? No, it's not my place to ask. Okay, well, we've got a new option, so let's go ask Kelly about that. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. You know, the more that you ask me to leave your name out of it, the more suspicious I become that you had a hand in it. Okay. Let's go up here to our notes and try and combine something. L let me go through the dialogue options right now and see if you guys can figure it out yourself. Joanne. Joanne's suicide. Photograph. Adrian. Kelly. Joanne slept all night. Joanne studied all night, and Kelly sleeps elsewhere. Do any two of those seem weird to you, or like they contradict themselves? I'll let you look over it for a minute before I... before I connect the two. Okay, we're gonna connect Joanne slept all night, which came from Kelly's mouth, and Kelly sleeps elsewhere. Wait a minute. Something isn't right. If Kelly's been spending her night somewhere else, how can she know if her roommate was sleeping well or not? Hmm. I think Kelly was lying to me. Did Kelly lie? Let's go to Joanne and Kelly's door. We're not really going to be able to ask the roommate, or rather the RA, if Kelly is lying. We have to go right to Liar herself. Yeah? Did Kelly lie? Your RA told me you haven't been sleeping in your dorm. Yeah, so? You told me that Joanne slept in her room every night. So? How would you know Joanne slept here if you've been sleeping somewhere else? Huh? Oh, well, I just assumed. Did you lie to me? I didn't lie. I just... No, oh, screw it. You wanna talk? Fine. What do you want to know? Okay, and now we have a whole bunch of options that we can ask Kelly and actually get answers to. So let's ask about Joanne. So what was Joanne really like? To be honest, there's nothing to say. She was studying political science, which is kind of cool, I guess. But she was so vanilla. Vanilla? You know, sweet, but not much there. Just a typical college kid, acted just like everybody else. She seemed proud of it. Okay, Joanne is, was a a studious type who was studying political science, spent most of her time in her room. I don't know about her interactions with anyone else. Let's ask a little, a few more questions. Did Joanne act unusual before she died? Well, no. Although, the last few weeks she's been talking in her sleep. What did she say? No idea. Couldn't understand her. She swore up and down that she wasn't doing it. She looked a bit scared, though. Scared? How so? Just scared. I didn't need the drama, so I've been sleeping at my boyfriend's place. So you weren't here when she... Killed herself? No, I wasn't here. N not that it would have made much of a difference. Are we done? Okay. Well, Kelly, I don't know what I can take from her. I don't know if she's actually upset or if she really just doesn't care. Um, let's ask about a photograph. I could really use a photograph of Joanne if you have one. Hmm. Alright, just a sec. This was hers. It was on her desk. She won't be needing it anymore. Joanne's the girl on the left. Thanks. Okay. These two dialogue options will just prevent, present the same things that they did earlier. So we're gonna close out of this. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And thank Kelly for helping out. And look at every photograph in our inventory. We got some wedding photographs. Well, we got two photographs from the envelope in last episode, so we should look at those as well. Wedding photograph? Oh, right click. And we've got our aunt, I assume. Rosangela's mother and Rosangela's father. Or respectively, uh... Her aunt's... 
sister-in-law and brother. Okay. Let's go to this one. I have a little trouble with family relations, so that's why it took me so long to say all that. Okay. And then we've got our grandmother, our aunt, and Jack. This looks like a, like a picture from Christmas, obviously, when they were young. Put, away, put that away. And Joanne's photograph, which relates to our current investigation. I just thought I'd go through those. This looks like this is Joanne here. And these are two people we don't know yet. We'll close out of that. Okay. I think we've got all the information we can get here. We've learned a lot about Joanne and Kelly. Well, not much about Kelly. But we've learned a lot about Joanne and the situation. Oh. This is just getting worse. At least I have enough for the story now. I better get home. Okay, so now that we have enough for the story, I'm going to end things here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play the Blackwell Legacy. Thank you for watching. Bye.